Hello. Oh, it's you, lovely people. And we're both like we're not both of us because there's only me. But ah, no, we're not. We're, well, I'm live on YouTube. Facebook isn't working because well done, Facebook. Brilliant. I'm trying to get Facebook back working, but we'll see what happens. Um, so sorry for the delay on Facebook, but I think we're almost there. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Should I give up on Facebook Live? I don't know, because you guys seem to, um, you, you guys are just more awesome on YouTube, I think. Hello, hello, um, who is, who's here? Andre Gustavo Diaz, hey, Waterme Watermelon, that is a great name. Algeria's in the house, hello Algeria. Um, Augustina from Argentina, that rhymes! Augustina from Argentina, you have the best name ever, wow, cool. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello from Egypt. Hello, Egypt. Um, I know some Arabic. No, I don't. I'm lying to you. Sorry. I won't lie again. That's a lie. <clears throat> Maxim and Toshki. Hello. Wow, there's so many people from all different countries. Yeah. Hello from Poland. Hello, Poland. Hello from Ukraine, Italy. Colombia! Which city in Colombia? I love Colombia. You know I love Colombia because, it, I mean, it's awesome and the people are just super, super cool. We all know that. Yay. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm going to make Facebook work because, because, well, I promised a Facebook Live and uh, I'm going to try and keep my promise. Okay. Um, live. English. Whoops. Yeah. Ellie, that's me. Awesome nerd sign. Exclamation marks. Go live. Okay. Should be live on both. Oh my god. We may be live on both. I think now we're good. I think now we're good. Yeah, okay, so slow start, but we're here. Okay, so what I want you to do is, this is going to be super, super interactive. So what I want you to do is this. Tag this, tag your friend in this video or share this video with a friend because you're going to make this very interactive today. We did a little bit with Valentine's Day, but of course, not everyone is in love. Some people are very lonely and sad. Hello, Lulin. Hello, Joanna. So, but today, we're going to make it very easy and very interactive. Bonjour, France. Alizy Pitt. Hello uh, in France. Hope you're all good. Hope France is amazing today and has lovely, lovely weather. So, yes, share this video with your friends. Get them involved in the lesson. If they don't know everything about English, it's okay. If they are not fluent in English, it's okay. Because I'm going to teach you what to say and why, then they can either watch this video and then understand what you mean, or, or they don't and they just don't understand what you mean. That's fine too. So, first thing, I want to know from you guys, what are your plans for today and I understand that for some of you it's late so what is what are your plans for this week but today what are your plans I'm, uh, I'm interested to hear because we're going to talk about plans making plans breaking plans being a good friend and being a bad friend because bad friends are you know rubbish but fun as well. It's four th watermelon, it's 4.30. I don't know where you are, but it's 4.30 where watermelon is. Watermelon, I hope you're having a lovely middle of the day. From mainland China, wow, I thought Facebook was blocked there, but cool. Ah, okay, Joanna on Facebook says, plans? I'm going to work out. She said, I should have written this down.
going to. I am going to work out. So when you talk about plans, this is what you use. I'm going to do something. I'm going to work. Um, Rohat is going to a shisha bar. I want to go to a shisha bar. Invite me. What, where's my invitation? Bad friend. Xenia also is going to work out. Mm -hmm. Many people going to work out. Well, I feel like I should go work out too. This is bad. Yeah. Um, let's see. Who else is doing what? I'm going to eat chocolate. That is a great plan. Yes. Remember, I am going to eat chocolate. Ah, uh, Michelle English. Um, yes, I know that um, on Facebook, I think it's mirrored. I don't know why. Facebook's ridiculous. I may stop the Facebook streaming because it's a bit rubbish. YouTube people, if, if you're on Facebook and the image is wrong, go to the YouTube channel. It's much, much better. Trust me. Yes, I know, it re it's the other way. YouTube people, you're awesome because you can see what it really is. Yes, um, so give me your sentences with I'm going to. Also tell me, what is your plan for this week? Um, M says, can we use I'm about to? Maybe you have seen my video about about to. About to means you are going to do it but very, very soon. For example, um, when you are going to leave your house in one minute, then you can say, ah, well, you know, I'm, I'm about to leave my house right now. So if it's a general plan in the future, no, not about to, because about to is very specifically right now, very, very soon. Ed. He's going to practice the cello and working at seven. Oh, that sucks. But Ed, I know you work in a bar, so you have free drinks. And that's, I mean, you know, you can make yourself a delicious cocktail. You can invent a new cocktail. Here's a challenge, Ed. Invent a cocktail called the alley. What would be, what would be in an alley cocktail? Um, Roger is going to cook a roasted chicken. Great. Roasted chicken is delicious. Arter. <laughs> Arter is going to die in capital letters. Hmm. Please don't die. Cameron, you're going to watch Papa's video. You're going to watch my videos. Awesome. Blue Tide, I'm going to touch your hair. I'm going to blow your mind. I don't have hair. Lady, lady is going to melt in this weather in Milgar. Wow, must be hot there. I imagine. I imagine. Okay, so we've established that this, this means this is your, your, your plan for the future. So let's make a question. I want you to tag your friend, and this is where you start sharing the video and getting your friends involved. We're going to make this very, very interactive. What is your friend going to do? There are many ways of asking this. You could be very simple and say, hey you, what are you going to do today, tomorrow? What are you going to do? But of course we want to practice the pronunciation, right? That's why you're here. You want to know the, how do I pronounce it in the British way? Of course, so let me write the question first. Priscilla, what are you going to do, Ali? Well, me, I'm going to... I, I... I want to eat pancakes, but all of you are telling me that you are going to work out, that you're going to go to the gym. So maybe I'll go to the gym because you're making me feel bad. 
I just want to eat pancakes in bed all day. Is that so bad? <laughs> Artur? I thought I should say... Artur, can I please pronounce your name again? I thought I should sound different. Artur? I don't... M m I can't read Russian very well. I'm trying to understand your name in Russian. So, yes, um, pronunciation of this. What are you up... Whoa. What are you going to do? Let's make this more British. This we can contract to water. Water. But we're not just going to contract that. Oh, no, 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 no. This is British. We are ridiculous. So we're going to contract these three. What are ya? This, this is what's called a weak form. So it goes to an uh sound. Water. This one, ya. What are ya? What are ya? Repeat with me. Repeat with me and you'll practice and you'll get perfect. What are ya? I want everyone in the world saying what are ya? What are ya? What are ya? And we all know that going to can be contracted to gonna, right? We all know that. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Say it with me. What are ya? What are ya? What are you going to do? Andre has just written something very interesting. Andre said, Whatcha? Whatcha going to do? Like this. Um, this should explain it there. Um, so Andre wrote, whatcha gonna do? So yes, we could say whatcha, and that would basically be the contraction of these three words. So whatcha gonna do? What are ya? Whatcha gonna do? Whatcha gonna do? Yes, like the Bad Boys song. Whatcha gonna do when they come for you? So, yeah, but again... That's, yeah, that's a very basic way of asking this question. You want to, um, again, on Facebook, go on the YouTube stream. It's much, much better. Um, I don't know why it's flipped on Facebook. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, so that's a very basic way of asking what you're going to do. It's fine, but it's basic. You want to ask it in a more British way, more natural way, right? In the comments, what do you think? Um, how could we ask this question in a more natural way? Whoever, whoever gets the answer first, um, I will read whatever you say, no matter how rude it is. Um, Taylor, why don't you read my messages? I'm reading your message right now, Taylor. Do I have Snapchat? Yes, um, Papa snaps, but I've, I don't snap that often. But when I do snap, I snap a million times. There we go. Juan says, what are you up to? What are you up to? What I'm going to do... Oh God, I have a child's writing. It's a good thing I'm not a teacher or anything. Because my writing is so bad. Okay, um, now I think that you can read this. Um, hmm. So Facebook first. What are you up to? Oh, it's really, really bad, isn't it? Yeah, Facebook people, go on the YouTube stream. It's so much better, and it's not flipped. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so YouTube people, this is for you. What are you up? And there's a delay. Two, two, two. Is it showing? Yeah, maybe. There we go. Okay. What are you up to? Now you'll notice that what are you? We can contract to whatcha? What are ya? How would I say it? What are you up to? What ya? What are you up to? Ooh, okay, I do a glottal stop. Um there are many ways to pronounce these things, but it depends on 
it it depends on the person, how fast you're speaking, how formal you want to speak. It depends on a lot of things. Personally, like I just said, I say this with a glottal T, what? And then this gets contracted to ya, what ya, what ya up to? Can you hear that? The you and up, they get contracted to yup. What you up to? What you up to? What you up to? What you up to? Say it with me. What you up to? What you up to? What you up to? Um, Roger is asking, where is your friend? He was good. You mean Tom and he is in Korea right now. Um, he's doing his master's course in TEFL. Um, he'll be back, but not anytime soon, I think. What you up to? Don't forget the p. What you up to? It could be good if you have a recorder. Um, even just your phone is enough. Get your phone, record your voice, um, play it back, compare your pronunciation to my pronunciation. What you up to? Alini, yes, he's in Korea. Um, SS, are you from England or America? What do I sound like? Maybe it's not obvious. Um, I'm from England. I'm very, very boringly British. I, there's nothing exotic or... <sighs> nothing, str nothing different about me. I'm very boring, very English. What you up to? There we go. Yes. Um, you could write on a piece of transparent glass or paper and flip it. Alejandro, that's a genius idea. But I have seen Facebook live streams where it's not inverted. That's really, really strange. Okay, so what are you up to? What I want you to do is share this video with your friend with the title being your friend's name. What are you up to? What are you up to? For those of you that need a reminder, it's these words. What what are you up to? But maybe you could call them. Call your friends right now. If they're sleeping, who cares? Wake them up. Call them and say, what are you up to? If Again, if they're asleep, even better. Because it's fun to annoy friends. Aya, uh, you're from Kazakhstan? Awesome! Hi, Kazakhstan! Max, <laughs> Maxim, you don't have any friends. Well, that's sad. Um, Brian Fuentes, may you speak with an American accent? Yeah, sure, I can speak with an American accent. I just have to speak loud and proud and say that... Um, no, I can't. I can't do an American accent. And that just sounds insulting when I try. However, I will be live again on the 23rd, which I believe is Tuesday or Thursday. Um, I think it's Tuesday, right? 19th? 20th? 21st? 22nd? 23rd? Ah, Thursday. Thursday, I'm live again um, with a good friend of mine who is American. So you can join that, hear his amazing American accent. Um, super smart guy, his name's Aaron, and we're going to talk about um, the USA. Uh, he's very engaged in politics, so you can ask him questions about that. It's going to be a very, very interesting one on Thursday, so make sure you join the live class for that. So, we've got this far. What are you up to? Hopefully your friend has joined by now, or hopefully you have shared this video with your friend. And they can, they can join! And they can interact, and you can speak to each other, and make plans for today. Because that is the topic of today. For those of you new to this class, we're doing plans. Making plans, breaking plans, and talking in general about plans. So, first, ask your friend, what are they up to today? Um, for people new on Facebook, uh, Salva, the screen is flipped. <laughs> I'm just gonna, should I just write to Mark Zuckerberg or Apple, who, whoever is responsible for this? Facebook people, the stream is flipped. You need to watch on YouTube. It's much better, easier. 
You'll have a more fun time. Yes, um... Artur, th your friend told you off. Did you wake them up? It's okay. Just tell them that um, Ali said to wake you up because... Because why not? Um, Agrian, when did I change the schedule? I haven't changed the schedule. This is a brand new schedule. Ukraine! Hello! Um, 3.30 London time on Thursday. Uh, Aleph is asking about the live lesson on Thursday. Um, I don't know the exact time we'll do it yet. But I will let you know as soon as I know. We'll see. Um, mm, yes. So what are you up to? This question is asking, what are you doing? What are your plans? But remember that... Um, this, what are you up to, up to means doing. So remember it's that. What are you up to? Up to means doing. What are you doing? In your answer, if I ask you, what are you up to right now? Type your answer. What are you up to? Um, Henry... What does, what are you up to mean? It means, what are you doing? So if I ask you, what are you up to? Type your answer. What are you doing? What are you up to? Ding Lulin, it's midnight. Time to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Stay with us. Have some coffee. Stay awake all night. And then feel really tired tomorrow. And then feel really sad because you're tired tomorrow. Um, aha! There we go. That's the answer I'm looking for. Your name is in Arabic. I'm sorry. I, I can't read the letters. But one person has said this answer. Um, and I want you to tell me what is wrong with this answer. Ah, my pen has stopped working. There we are. I am... Again, Facebook people, the image is flipped, so you have to watch on YouTube if you want to see what the words say. YouTube, you're fine, you're lovely, you're great. Um, this one. Um, ah. There we are. Someone said this. I am up to read. I'm up to read. Oh, Ibrahim, you have said the same kind of thing. I'm up to swim. Right, so this is the problem here. Um, yes, the question, what are you up to? Up to means doing. But in your answer, would you say, I am doing read? No, this is a very common mistake. Make sure that you don't make this mistake. In your answer, don't say, I am up to verb. Not in your answer. Well, also this is a positive answer. We'll, we'll get there. So, um, Ibrahim, I'm up to swim? No. If it's right now, I am swimming. How are you swimming in on YouTube? Your phone will be wet. Don't, don't take your phone in the swimming pool. That's just a bad idea. Um, M Michele says, I'm up to get some advice. Again, remember, up to means doing. You wouldn't say, I'm doing get some advice. No, you would say, I'm getting some advice. Hello in Taiwan. Hi, Taiwan. Taiwanese people are cool. Every Taiwanese person I've met has been super, super cool. Um, just awesome. Nano is camping with his girlfriend. That's so romantic. Are you having s'mores and um, campfires and insects crawling all over you? Because that's horrible. Um, right, so, uh, Huang Simon said, 
Does this mean I'm reading? Well, the person who wrote this, they wanted to say I am reading. But this is not how you write the answer. I am up to read? No, that's not correct. I am reading. To clarify. <laughs> it's just a rubbish piece of paper. I am reading, not I'm up to read. The question, yes, use up to. Remember, it means doing an in a question, what are you doing, is a fine question. It's a great question. But in the answer, in a positive answer, I am reading, not I'm up to read. That's a positive answer. In a negative answer, we could say, for example, I am not doing anything. This one I'll have to write another piece of paper because I don't have any more um, <laughs> if you have any messages or questions I can answer them Michael asks me to say say bed and bad please very easy bed is where I sleep eh bed mouth is wide eh bed Bad, the opposite to good, bad. My mouth, bed, bad. It's more open for bad, more wide and long for bed. Okay, example, it's uh, this sentence. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. In this case, could I use up to? What do you think? I want you to tell me this. This is interactive and I want you to tell me. Is this okay to use up to? And how would I change the sentence? Uh, Bob Piranha, I'm doing nothing. It's an okay sentence, that's fine. Michael, J Michael Jackson saying, I'm bed. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, okay. Ah. Swift Scout says, I'm up to nothing. Hmm, interesting. What do you think? Well, just remember that. What does up to mean? Up to means doing. So, if you have the word doing there, then... We'll change it. We'll change it. We'll change that word. Silly little word. Yes. We'll change doing for up to. I'm not up to anything. I'm not up to anything. What are you doing? I'm, I'm not up to anything. Again, uh, you can hear my pronunciation. I used a glottal T. I'm not up to anything. Mark Vandervand. I'm not up to anything. Good job, buddy. Um, Lofty. I'm up to nothing is also very good. Kath Liz, I'm not up to anything. Very good. Um, Rabia, you said, what do you do? Bit different there. Uh, David asks, oh, I've lost your question. Um, if you want your question, if you really have an important question, there's a super chat feature and it means I will always get your question because it's difficult sometimes. And fam, if no plan today, make it pancakes. Pancakes is the best plan. Go eat pancakes. Boom, you've got a plan. Um, Carolina, just like I said. I know, you said it right. Well done, good job. Um, Fiza asks, how do you pronounce privacy? Well, there are two ways. You could say privacy, like pry, privacy, or Privacy. You can use both ways. Privacy, privacy, it doesn't really matter. Um, however you want to say it, both are, are fine. Elise Pitt, pancakes are the best plan. Yes, I agree, I agree. 
Um, okay, so we've had this one. I'm not up to anything. Someone else said, I'm up to nothing. That's fine too. Ah, David said, ain't. That was your question. Can I use ain't? Yeah, well, remember, Stephen, your pancakes more like. Your pancakes. Ibrahim, miss you too, buddy. You rock. Merhaba. What was I saying? Where am I? Who am I? What year is this? Who's the president? I'm not up to anything. Remember that up to, places do. <laughs> Salva, we need a pancake video lesson. Oh, that's serious, yeah. How to make pancakes? The British way? There is actually a British way of doing them. Um, and it's delicious. Um, John Smith, pronounce either. Two ways to pronounce either. Either, 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 either. Both are okay. There's no correct answer, really. The same with neither and neither. Captain Underpants, amazing name, says I love you. I love you too, Captain Underpants. <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay, so we're making our plans. Um, we did, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, we did how to make plans with, um, shall we? Let's. Let's do something. So, we've asked our friend, what are you up to? What's the pronunciation? Say it with me. Whatcha up to? Whatcha up to? Or, um, how I say it, for example, what you up to? What you up to? What you up to? What you up to? Um, Akash, I am live on Facebook, but the stream's flipped and I don't know how to flip it back. It's really weird. Um, Mirko, how can you answer to all these stalkers? Mm. I, I don't know. What you up to? What you up to? For the pronunciation again. Yes, so... Um, Share this video with your friends. Ask them what are they up to. Um, Oi Cheryl on Facebook says hi Ali. Hi Oi. I don't know if I said your name right, but um, we have a video also on the differences between up two and up four. I saw a question in the comments that said what's the difference between up two and up four. We have a video on that. Um, Artem McAllister. Um, Recommend a book for a newbie teacher of English. Ooh, ooh, that's a good question. Um, what did I use? There's, there's the standard book that every new English teacher um, uses, and it's it's the Michael Swan. I think it's called English Grammar in Use. That gives you the basics of all the grammar. Um, it's very boring, but. Um, yeah, read it. Every, everyone reads and it's like, it's like if you're a new teacher, you have to get this book. Okay. Um, yeah, so you've got your friend, you're asking about plans. What, what are you up to? Your friend is saying, I'm not doing anything. What does he say? He doesn't say, I'm not doing anything. He says, I'm not up to anything. Um, Ahmed, where do you read the comments? Mostly from Facebook or YouTube? Both, both. Um, so your friend is saying, I'm not up to anything. You know how to ask to make a plan. So you will say, oh, okay, let's go to the cinema later. Let's go to the cinema later. And your friend says, yep. But then later happens and some, something happens and you have to cancel your plans. It happens. We're all busy. I'm busy. You're busy. We have to cancel plans sometimes, right? So, how do we cancel plans? In the, in the comments, how would you cancel a plan to go to the cinema with me? Tell me, Ali, blah, blah, blah. Cancel a plan to go to the cinema with me.
while I'm waiting for that. Uh, Rubens asked me to pronounce leader, letter, leather, ladder. This is recorded so you can watch it again and find where I said it. Oh, okay, okay. Got some good ones. Good ways to cancel here. Huh? Okay, good. Um Oh, that's a good one. Okay, okay. That's 3 and I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll stop at three. So, um, I've read three, I've taken three of your comments um, and we're going to, we're going to uh, focus on those. Uh, Oleg, Oleg has just asked a question. I will get to you as soon as I finish these three questions. I promise, Oleg, don't worry. And thank you very much for the super chat. Um, okay, so this is one way to cancel. I can't make it. I can't make it. Joanna, I love Facebook, but Facebook doesn't love me. Um, yeah, I can't make it. That is a good way to cancel plans. It's formal. It's friendly. It's, it's nice. I can't make it just means, I'm sorry, it's not possible. It's not possible. So if you want to say, ah, oh, I know we have plans today, but I'm sorry, I can't make it. The very good thing about this expression is that you don't need any more details. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Maybe you just don't like that friend. Maybe a better friend has made better plans with you. But say, I can't make, I'm sorry, I, I can't make it. I can't make it. Listen to my glottal tease. I can't make it. I can't make it. I can't make it, I'm sorry. Then that is a great way to cancel a plan. It's, it's not offensive, it's just a good, very, very good way of cancelling plans. No one feels bad with this. This one, I don't feel up for it. I don't feel up for it. Pronunciation, I don't, that has a glottal T. I don't feel up for it. So let's break down this pronunciation first. I don't feel up for it. These two, that L, that L goes into the uh. Feel up for it. Lup for it. And the, the R goes to the next word. Rit. I don't feel up for it. I don't. Repeat with me. I don't feel up. For it. I don't feel up for it. I don't feel up for it. I don't feel up for it. Say with me. I don't feel up for it. So, this, what does it mean? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I don't feel up for it. This means, I'm sorry, I'm sick. I'm sorry, but my feeling is not good for one reason or another. Usually, it's because I'm sick. Or maybe I'm really, really tired, it could be. For some reason, my feeling isn't right. Maybe my health, maybe I'm sick, maybe I'm tired. I don't feel up for it. The next one. I'm not up for a movie. I'm not up for a movie. I'm not up for a movie. We've got up four. Um, I won't go into too much detail because up four... And up to, we have a video about it. Just search our videos, find that video, you'll get your answer. But I don't feel up for it. That's your feeling. You're tired or you're sick. But I'm not up for a movie. If I, if I say this to you, try to get it from my mood. I'm, I'm not up for a movie. I'm not really up for a movie. What do you think I mean? What, what is my mood? A movie... I'm not, I'm not really up for a movie. 
What what do you think? I'm not really up for a movie. Mattia on Facebook, yes, I know the words are flipped. <laughs> I need a sign behind me in mirrored image. Um It's flipped on Facebook but not on YouTube. So if you're not having fun on Facebook, go on the YouTube stream and everything is where it should be. Um Yes, but you brought up a good point. It means I'm not you said I'm not cheerful enough. Um Gretchen, you want to do another thing. Yes, exactly. I'm not up for it means I, I don't want to do it. It's it's not my cup of tea. Look at that. There we go. Yes. Um Zonky Zonky Wong says movie is not your cup of tea. Movie? No. I don't want to see a movie. I want to sleep and eat pancakes and ice cream. Pancakes and ice cream. Whoa. Million dollar idea. If anyone from Ben and Jerry's is watching, v vanilla or, or chocolate? No, vanilla. Vanilla ice cream, bits of pancake inside. <laughs> Call it Ellie. Um, yes, Yasu, you said you're not in the mood. Absolutely, yes. So if you, um, if you say I'm not up for a movie, I'm not up for this plan, eh, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to. I don't want to. Fedra, Argentina is watching me. The whole country? Jenny, uh, cheers from Venezuela. Hello, Venezuela. How are we? I hope you're very... I hope you're doing well today. Um, it's a sad situation in Venezuela, but I, I'm sending my love to Venezuela because I love Venezuelans. Every Venezuelan I've met is so lovely and so friendly, and I love you all. Um, Taylor, I am actually from Ben & Jerry's. Bollocks are you. I'm not that lucky. But if you are, please come and be my best friend, ever. Um, yeah, I don't feel like going. Okay, so those are three ways to cancel your plans. Before we continue, um, Oleg Nav Nalivkin? Oleg N Nalivkin? Blah. Sorry, I can't speak today, but hello, Oleg. How are you? Um, he wrote a super chat. If you have any burning questions, uh, do a super chat and I will definitely get to them. So um, he said, I'm up to read equals I'm reading are both present continuous. Now, um, as I said before, what are you up to? Up to means doing. That replaces the word doing. Um, be very careful. It replaces the word specifically doing. So you want to be careful with that. Um, if you said, I corrected someone's comment here, I am up to read, that's not correct because you don't say I'm doing read. It's not correct grammar. You must just say I'm reading. So the meaning they wanted to say was present continuous, but the grammar wasn't correct. It wasn't written correctly in answer to your question. And thank you for it. Um, Nashwa Kamal, you're sending me lots of hearts and I love the hearts. Um, thank you for the hearts. They're always appreciated. Now let's go back to our first question of the day. Remember we looked at this when we said be going to, and that means your future plan. Well, future plans we use with going to, right? So you've just canceled your plan with your friend. Um, maybe you said, um, I'm going to see a movie with my friend tonight. That is your future plan. Um, eh. So, let's imagine you cancel your plan. You cancelled this. Now, this is a past plan. So past plans, how do you talk about past plans? Super easy. Remember, I am going to, that's your future plan. A past plan, super easy. Change this one to a past verb. I, past, I was 
I was going to watch a movie. Perfect. I am Claire. Is your name actually Claire? Because that's a brilliant name if it is. Yes, I was going to watch a movie, but now I'm not. Now I'm going to sit in bed and cry and eat pancakes and ice cream. Oh, yum. Yeah, so let's, let's make a, a whole conversation with this. In the comments, both Facebook and YouTube, <laughs> I won't put any writing up anymore because Facebook people are crazy now, I think. Um, in the comments, tell me of the last plan that you cancelled. What were you going to do? And what are you going to do now? Use a whole sentence. Annabelle, I was going to see a movie, but now I'm going gaming. Going gaming? Like a casino? That's so fun. Um, if, you, if you haven't played craps in a casino before, you should do it. It's so much fun. Um, Layla, hello. Thank you for joining us. Um... And can we say I wasn't up to anything? Yeah, absolutely you can. Remember, if you say I am not up to anything, it means I'm not doing anything. So yes, of course, you can say it in the past. I wasn't up to anything. That's perfect. Miroslav on Facebook says, I was going to watch TV, but I am going to watch a papa lesson. Ah, oh, that's so cool and awesome. You rock. Um, oh no. By the way, you will have noticed I always sign my comments with the awesome nerd sign. I don't have any glasses on me. But it's this one and the glass emoji. Then you know the comment is from me. S uh, the Snapchat. Yes, you can add us on Snapchat. It's Papa Snaps. Um, I don't snap every day, but when I do, I do it too much. Okay, we're going to do a few more questions before we finish. I'm going to... Oh, Carolina, I was going to get married. Oh, that's so sad. But, I mean, it's great grammar, but it's so sad. Um, Carolina, I'm sure you're lovely, and I'm sure um, you'll get married one day. I'm not sure. How can I know? It's impossible. Um... I was going to cook, but you started the live, says Roger. I'm not sorry. Um, let's have a look. Any more questions? What would be a better way to pronounce world? And it doesn't sound like word or road. Road? Interesting. Bruno is asking, what is a better way to pronounce world? Just practice makes perfect, Bruno. World. World. Annie Sai, hello, I'm free forever, hello. Um, I was, Canal Extra Class says, I was going to Turkey, but I didn't feel up to the plane, so I'm going to some beach. Whoa, look at that, you used everything from the class. Um, except for plane, we need to change that word. Plane is not a verb, you need a verb. I didn't feel up to flying. So if you want to say, hmm. I'm, I was too tired, I was too sick, my mood wasn't right, I didn't feel up to something, and you need a verb, you need to change the verb to an ing verb. So, I didn't feel up to flying. Your whole sentence, I was going to Turkey, but I didn't feel up to flying, so I'm going to some beach around here, is what you wanted to say. Uh, Fatima, I'm going to study biology. Well done, great, fantastic. Um, I was going to, D David says, I was going to take a shower, but I prefer to watch you. Well, David, if you don't mind smelling like an old sock, then go for it. I smell like an old sock right now, but you can't smell me, so it's fine. Um, Dogger says, I was going to visit my grandma, but I'm, I'm not felt up for it. Very close. Uh, you got the, the idea right. Um, I'm not felt up for it. Not exactly. You want to, you want to use it in a past tense. Feel. That's a verb. 
I didn't feel up for it. Uh, Lorraine on Facebook says, I was going to do my homework, but better I gonna to eat first. Very close, Lorraine. But, um, but you want to say, but it's better if I eat first. Basically, to change your sentence. Um, let's see. I'm going to eat. There we are. Yes. Good. Good. I was going to come to London, but I changed my plan. Now I'm in Italy, says Fausto. Why? The pizza? We, we don't have good pizza? No, we don't have good pizza. I am Claire. Oh, I lost your question. The, the comments go super, super fast. And I'm sorry, I can't read all of your questions. Um... Super fast. Um, I'm free forever says how to pronounce your name. My name? Ali. Really easy. My full name is Alistair. Well, you guys don't know this. My full name is Alistair, but um, uh, when I introduced myself to people, they were like, Alice. No, Alistair. Alice. No. Just, just call me Ali. It's easy. Everyone can say Ali. So now I call myself Ali. It's much easier. Call me Ali is my name. And spell it however you want. It doesn't... Fernanda, I knew you were going to ask that. Ali or Ali with a Y or an I. With I spell it with a Y because um, I, I don't know why, actually. But that's, that's fine. Um, Jason Lee, I'm going to bed soon. Yes, it's probably late where you are. Um, so have a good night for you, Jason. Vanessa, I love your Cockney accent. Well, my, my real accent is not Cockney. My real accent is super, super, um, standard for England. If, if you go to London, this is just how people sound. However, that's... Oh. Okay, in London, there are people with millions and millions of different accents from everywhere. Me saying my accent is standard is probably not the best way to describe it. It's one of the standard London accents. Let's just say that. It's my, my regular accent is not Cockney. But I do play a good Cockney on YouTube. Um... Okay, Julita says, can you answer me? Then I'll be up to do everything. What will you be up to doing? Um, Blue Sapphire says, I was going to eat pancakes. <gasps> you changed your mind? Why? Why would you change your mind? Just eat the pancake. Uh, Natalia, I was going to the English class, but now I'm going to watch... The best English class. I'm Brazilian, but I live in London. Great. I hope you're enjoying our lovely London weather, which is probably, what, rain, grey, cold, bleh. Just stay in bed all day. Pancakes! Oh my god, my phone's falling off now. Okay, a few more questions. Um, Be Brave says, Ali, can you pronounce we were there? We were there. We were there. Contract were to a, a weak form. Schwa. Were. We were there. We were there. We were there. Okay. Um, Carolina um, is the girl who said uh, she was going to get married. And she's replied with, I didn't feel up for it. <gasps> Whoa. Drama. My God. This is like reading a, um, a soap opera, telenovela. This is, wow. Prisma Arts asks, did you ever smoke a joint? My mum watches this, so I shan't answer. Take a taxi or get a taxi? Gia Matea asks, take a taxi or get a taxi? Which is correct. Um, you can use both. Um, I went out last night and I, I took a taxi home. I went out and I, I got a taxi home. Both, both. Both are fine. Both sound great. Um, you can use both. Are you still going to eat pancakes, asked Fabri. Yes, why not? Um, probably with um, blueberries. Um, someone is asking about... Uh, Dima is asking... 
Mm, hiccups. Dima's asking um, about the drawings and when will I draw again? Um, at the moment, I don't, I don't have a whiteboard and I need one. So the majority of the videos you'll see are now going to be um, animated. Okay, so before we finish, what I want you to do is share this video with your friend and say a few things. First thing, ask them what your friend, your friend, ask them what they are up to. What are you up to? Ask your friend. Next thing, when they tell you or if they tell you they are not doing anything or they are not up to anything, then make a plan with them. Let's go to the cinema. Let's go to the pet shop and play with dogs. Then, when you have a plan, one hour later, cancel that plan on them. Because they'll be really annoyed. It'll be great. Um, when will I have a whiteboard next? Um, at the moment, I'm in a temporary place until next month. So that's only, what, a couple of weeks. Hopefully next month, I'll be changing places. And I will have a whiteboard. And if we can use the whiteboard in the live lessons, that would be great. Um, on Facebook, Isidro is asking, are the same people here and YouTube? Oh, that's interesting. Could be. And uh, there's many more people on YouTube. That's why I'm trying to, um, my eyes are more focused on YouTube. Wow. Okay. Some people have watched the Shakespeare video and are trying out some Shakespeare. This is great. Um, Agrian, wherefore art thou? Oh, <laughs> not next to me. Wow, great. Um, Isabella, is this your regular pronunciation speed? It depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends. When I'm drinking, then I speak more quick. No, I don't. No, when I no when I drink, I speak more clearly. If anything, but that's just me. That's not all British people. Um, it depends. But yes, more more or less, this is my regular pronunciation speed and style. So if you can understand me, this me, then you're doing very well. Because this is just regular British person. Um, someone is asking about the pirates accent. What accent do pirates have? Um, <laughs> fun fact. The pirate accent still exists. If you go to the north, east, south, west, if you go to the west of England, like very far west, you can still hear the pirate accent, like in Pirates of the Caribbean. So you, you, you can go there and hear real, real pirates. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, and they, they actually sound like um, real pirates. It's fantastic. Um, Facebook Fedra, can you pronounce my name? Fedra. Fedra. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It has to be wrong. Nora, please say to me, I'm Nora from Somalia. Hello, Nora from Somalia. Lovely to see you. Okay, so uh, final question. Let's have one more question and then I must go. Ah, okay, two more then. Do I like Oasis the band? No, because I grew up in the 90s, and if you grew up in the 90s, wherever you go, whatever radio station you listen to, it always, they always played Oasis. So you listen to Wonderwall, Don't Look Back in Anger, on repeat. I liked it for the first two times, um, but... After that, you go crazy. So, no, I can't stand Oasis now. And the voice, you yeah, my wonder, wow. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, last question. <coughs> I just ruined my voice. Willem says, I really like your lessons, but can you say some British slang words? Ooh, this could be the topic for next week's live lesson. So, thank you for joining us. Um, Thursday? It was Thursday, right? It was Thursday, I'm sure. On Thursday, um, 
we're having another live lesson. If you, if you join us on Thursday, I, I will let you know the time. But we'll be with my good friend Aaron. Uh, he's from a political organization here in New York. And it'll be super, super interesting. If you have any questions for either me or for him. Um, it's going to be a very interesting one. We'll be live from YouTube. Go into the YouTube studios in New York and it's so much fun there. So um, have a lovely week. I'll see you on Thursday. And remember, every Sunday, 3.30 p.m. London time. I'll see you then. And David Adele speaks Cockney and she's awesome. We love Adele. Gretchen, you're welcome. Love you. You guys, love you. YouTube, you're fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, I really love doing these. And I'll see you again on Thursday and then again on Sunday. See you later. Bye. If I can ever... Uh, I don't even know how to change this. Um, bye.